So now I'm going to call up Josh. Josh is from ResPax. Now, ResPax is fully featured tour management software, which provides tour operators one place to manage all of their bookings. Now, ResPax has online it has an online booking engine, channel manager, an inbuilt CRM, which makes booking, making bookings and managing them a breeze. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope we're all doing well, coming towards the end of the day. So thank you very much for taking the time to, to finish up with me today. I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you a little bit more about, about ResPax booking software. So just a little bit of an agenda, just talk about the who and the what, give you a little bit of a background of the, of the business, um, really just talk about the fine points um, that was really well touched on earlier about what is a booking system, what is a channel manager, and how important it is to, to your business. Now obviously there's a lot of different providers out there and I want to highlight some, some also some pretty key areas where we're a bit different from the competition. So a bit of a background surrounding ResPax, it's a business which has tourism in its DNA. So it's been operating in the Australian New Zealand market for 25 years now. The system's literally almost as old as I am. Um, it's got uh, a really big backing um, of a group of operators in Destination which built and designed the software. Um, and like I said, it's been operating for, for 25 years now. Uh, across our senior leadership team and even way down the ranks, we've got decades of combined experiences working with a variety of different operations, all the way up to enterprise level and down to, to small and medium-sized enterprises. What we do, online booking system, channel management, and ongoing support and account management. We really want to try and empower businesses to get the most out of our system so that they don't have to spend as much time glued to the computer and really focusing on what they do best, which is running a fantastic experience. Some of our clients, as you can see, are listed here. Um, we've got, like I said, some, some fairly large enterprise clients like New South Wales um, Parks and Wildlife Service, um, and also some smaller uh, more niche experiences like K7 Adventures in, in New South Wales. It's a fully featured platform. I've got a bit of a background you know, in this space. I used to work for another booking system uh, called Fair Harbour. And one of the biggest things that I've really enjoyed about working at ResPax is just that ne next level up. Um, a lot of booking systems, by and large, will do more or less the same thing. And a lot of operators do just need that extra level of customization or just one or two additional features which are really going to help them uh, automate their business. So our system automates everything from booking confirmations, reminders and reports to give them more control over the business. And like I said, give them back some time uh, to really go focus on running their, their tour. So like I said, I'm going to quickly gloss over this. I think we've already kind of harped on probably a fair bit about it today. Um, but just to, to get back to the basics, what is a booking system? Uh, modern consumers really just want to be able to book, pay and purchase for a product or a tour without having to speak to people. Um, that's just the, the world that we live in nowadays. People have shorter attention spans and they just want to book and pay with instant confirmation. And the important thing about having a booking system is that you're making it easy for these consumers to do so. There's also other channels which I'll touch on in regards to Google things to do. Uh, and having a booking system will actually help you be visible in those channels as well. So I think to really be successful in, in driving more direct sales for a tourism business is having a good booking system which makes it easy for customers to book direct and then making sure that that tour product is visible across Google, across even OTAs as well, uh, just making sure that you're actually visible and bookable as many places as possible. It's also an automation tool. You know, there's very basic things that a booking system can automate um, and make sure that you actually don't have to be spending time glued to the computer. Um, so what we do is we want to make sure that all the customer communications are automated, all the reports are automated, anything that we can basically to take my, give more time back to the, the operators. It's a pretty simple setup. Um, I think there's a, a lot of question marks about when and how do I choose a booking system, how do I implement it. Um, it may have been a bit, diff bit more difficult you know, many years ago, but nowadays it's actually really simple to, to get set up. Um, and a lot, every booking system has got fantastic support to, to really help you grow. Um, I think that's a really common thread across the board, um, but it's really, really important for tour operators just to actually make use of that support and engage with their provider uh, to make sure that they're getting the most out of the system. 
channel manager really is just a, a system which is going to connect you to those OTAs. So that your supervisors, you get your guides, the clukes of the world. So most booking systems will have a, a native or a built-in channel manager like we do. And this is just a great way to increase your reach. So these OTAs are going to give you more targeted um, sales channels if you're looking to focus on a particular type of customer or a region. Um, and this tool is just a really great way for small businesses to start getting in front of more people. Obviously, they do charge a commission you know, for this service, um, but having that sort of mixed in with your sales plan of your business is a really great way to, to drive more bookings. It's basically when you have a booking system with that channel manager built in, it's one hub. It's one place that you can go to control your availability, your rates, um, and making sure that essentially you don't have to be going through multiple different systems to make one simple change. And I think that's the key thing with reservation technology is that it's designed to be one place to make these changes, which means that you can just save even more time. And like I said, having these targeted sales approach um, with OTAs as well is a really good way to help drive more growth. Um, what's important to recognise though is that you want to have a healthy blend of both direct sales through your website and indirect bookings through OTAs. Um, and that's something that your, your res system can definitely help with. So how are we different? So as I said, there's probably 20, 25 different reservation systems out there on the market. And it's obviously pretty hard to pick what's going to be the right one for your business. This is something that every booking system is going to be able to do, by and large. They'll be able to facilitate bookings, whether they're through your website or on a mobile device. They'll be able to automate some basic customer communications, so your confirmations, your reminders, and your follow-ups. And they'll be able to create some CSV reports on your, on your sales data. Like I said, by and large, across the board, every booking system should be able to do that. This is where we are a little bit different, though. When it comes to using res packs, what we do for our clients is actually build bespoke checkout pages to match the theme and the brand of the business and make sure that it's white labeled wherever possible. We have very minimal process, uh, sorry, very minimal visibility um, in the checkout process uh, when you're looking at a res packs client. It's not about us, it's about the tour operator themselves. Can I just have a, a quick show of hands? Is there anyone using Fair Harbour or ResD in the room? No? Who here has a booking system in their business? Yes. And what, what are you using, sir? Uh, we're, we're uh, essentially accommodation. Gotcha. So not for, for tours and activities. OK. So that exercise didn't go as well as I hoped it did. Um, but essentially, if you're a Fair Harbour client, let's say there's 10 Fair Harbour clients. You know, and if someone is searching for a tour and activity and they go to these 10 different checkout pages, that checkout page with Fair Harbour is going to look the same almost every single time. With res packs, no two of our clients will have the same theme or the same branding on their checkout. And so what that means, it's a much more bespoke checkout experience for the customer. It's more engaging. You know, it's not as corporate branded like a few of the other providers. We really want to try and use the great content that tour operators have and implement that into the checkout process because that's what we see actually converts more customers. This is just a, a bit of a background or you know, behind the scenes quick little look. So as I mentioned, every customer with res packs gets the ability to build a checkout site. And within that checkout site, as you can see, there's heaps of different fields in there for you to actually match the specific color of your branding at the checkout. And like, it just makes it that much more bespoke and that much more engaging to that customer. On top of the look, you can also adjust how it reads. So with res packs, you can adjust the lingo and change really basic things like booking confirmation to things like you're on your adventure, or changing things like tour overview to learn more about our story. It's really small things like this that with res packs, if you can change and match to suit you, it creates a, a better online experience for the customer. We also have a lot more flexibility when it comes to kind of communicating with customers. So, like I said, every booking system will automate maybe those three basic pieces of communication, which is that confirmation, the reminder, and the follow-up. What we have at ResPacks is actually inbuilt CRM functionality. So we have partnered with a, another business to, to use a bit of their technology. And there is no limit with ResPax to the amount of scheduled emails that you can send. This works really well for the really basic stuff, 
but it also works great for upselling customers. So being able to say that anyone that has booked product A is going to get sent a link for product B 90 days after they have come. And this could be a new experience. It could be a promotion that you're offering. So there's a lot of scope there for businesses to, again, maybe not have to use an exterior service or have another subscription for another platform to do this really basic email marketing, because you'd be able to do it all within your booking system. It's also customized content. So on here, you have these content fields. And what that means is that these aren't going to be just basic automated emails you're sending out. They're going to be really specific, and they're going to be really personalized to not only the customer, but what they've booked. And I think that is a, a big step up from a lot of other systems out there, uh, is being able to have that sort of flexibility and that level of automation as well. In regards to some of the CRM functionality, you know, you've got guest profiles which are created that can be attached with membership. Um, up the top there as well, those are all the fields that you have for scheduling emails. And again, it gets very specific in terms of who you're going to be sending this to and what they're going to be reading. We also have some advanced reporting. So every booking system, like I said, will do the CSV style data spit out of reports. What we have are basically two different reporting tools that you can use. You can use the basic CSV style reporting, um, or you can actually use proper Microsoft Power BI um, as part of your booking system. Has anyone used Power BI before? Yes. It's cool, isn't it? It is. It's a lot of fun. If you're you know, a tech geek like me, I might have a lot of fun with it. Um, so not only are these reports like custom and automatically generated, the Power BI tool is a little bit more interactive. So I'm really happy my GIF is working. So with Power BI, it allows you to drill down on specific data points. So when you're going to conferences or if you're meeting with new partners and you need to really quickly call up on a particular data set, I want to compare bookings from 2019 to today. I want to now compare that data across agents A, B, and C. This reporting tool just makes it that much easier. So rather than having to run three or four different reports and then comparing them, you've got this tool just to go and click through and then compare data on data. We've got a, a few other little things as well, which I think sort of set us apart. I think ease of use was touched on in, in the previous session. I think that's really important. There's, there's no point implementing any sort of software in your business is that if you're investing time and having your head glued to the computer, it's meant to be easy. It's not meant to be something that you invest too much time into after you've set it up. You know, once you do that at the beginning, you should be able to just let it run. We also have a bit more control over the transaction fees. Uh, I think that's a, a big thing in the market is giving the power to the operator in terms of whether they want to surcharge or not, um, how much they want to surcharge. Do they want it to be a percentage? Do they want it to be a fixed dollar value? It's completely up to the operator. You know, we'll charge our fees, but in terms of how you want to, to manage it from there or whether you want to charge it as a booking fee to the customer, it's completely up to you. Um, and I don't think uh, you know, there are some other systems out there which don't have that sort of level of, of flexibility, um, and you are penned in with the way that they, they price their product. We also have a, a point of sale feature, which is going to be coming soon. Um, this is a, a big thing for us in the, the Torsen activity space. As you can imagine, there's a lot of operators that will sell merchandise or have a cafe, a bar, or a restaurant attached. And that just means that they've got two different systems where, with us, soon they'll be able to have it all in one. And what that means is that you'd be able to easily upsell customers by having it all in one system, but also the way that you report on that data and that sales data is all going to be in that one place as well. So it just makes it that much easier you know, for you to get full visibility of how your business is performing. So we're really happy to be part of the digital adoption program. It's uh, when I speak to operators, you know, every week I'm on the phone with someone and I can hear how hard it is, um, especially just in regards to, to funding and rising cost of living. Um, speaking of, I live in Sydney. I know exactly how expensive it is at the moment. Um, so being a part of this sort of grant program just to give some money back um, is something that I'm really, pr really proud for ResPax to be a part of. So as part of this program, uh, eligible operators will be able to receive um, that $2,500 rebate. Uh, which is essentially going to cover the cost of, of your ResPax setup. And what that includes is the system creation, 10 hours of training. We, like I said, we want to make sure that people are getting the most out of this and that they actually do know how to use each and every feature. Um, and it also includes the integration to your payment gateway. 
So if you'd like to, to have a chat about res packs or learn a little bit more about the, the functionality, feel free to, to come and say good day. Um, you can find a lot of the details on our website and you can request a, a demo through there. Uh, and hopefully if you do get access to this slide deck, there is a link in there for you to uh, book a 30 minute time with me. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to show you a little bit more about what ResPacks can do. Thank you very much.